Hi guys, welcome to ET Land. And these are the topics that I usually do for my vlogs. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in these topics. Let's jump right into today's topic. The best universal profile for N64 emulation. So first of all, I have to give all the credits to Expert Wun because he's the one who did this project and asked me to do a video for this project. He's so dedicated and he spent a very long time to test almost all the games available. So this is a big project. As you can see from the teaser at the very beginning of this video, you can see that this profile allows the performance to be very, very smooth. And I just want to show you a comparison between the performance with and without this profile so that you can actually know how much it has improved the performance.
Okay, so you probably have a good idea on how the performance is increased. And let's look at how to set up this profile. So first of all, we go to the um, profile and click Select Profile. Then click Manage Profiles. And then find a profile of Glide N64 Fast. Then click it and click copy. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to name it tutorial. Next, click OK after you have renamed it. And then we'll go to change the settings a little bit. And then you get this uh, screen here and then slide down to the middle of the menu and uncheck the boxes for enable noise em emulation and uncheck the box for enable LOD emulation. After that you can go back to the menu and then click emulation profile and select the one that you have just made. So here I'm going to use tutorial glide and 64 fast. So that is for here and we can go back to the main screen. The next step is to go to the settings and find display and then click it. Then we'll have this display settings here. And now we are going to change the rendered resolution. We are using 320 times 240. Of course you can use a higher resolution but that may affect the performance so if you are uh, seeing performance more important than that of the graphics then 320 times 240 will be the best choice for you. And that's it for the settings. Super easy, isn't it? So we can look at the performance here and it's super smooth, just like I've shown you in the videos multiple times. So um, you can actually use this profile for different games and it has pr been proven that it is applicable for more than 300 games. So um, you can try it on your own and see if that works, but I know that it would probably work on your device as well. Also mentioned by Expert Wooden, if your performance is still not good enough, you can try the advanced option. You can find this option from the settings of each particular game and then you can go to the count per operation and pass between 1 to 4 to see if it changed the performance. Also, Expert Wooten mentions that these two apps may potentially increase the performance as well. So if the advanced option is not good enough, then um, you can try to use these two apps, but you have to have a device that is rooted. So that is pretty much for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope that you can have a good performance for N64 emulation on your Retro Pocket 2. Once again, I have to give all the credits of this video to Expert Wooten for his massive efforts and dedication. This is a wonderful research and we are all benefit by his research. So um, if you know him on Reddit, just say thank you to him for this research and this is absolutely amazing and that's it for this video see you next time bye